Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's session is about the interactive form. In the interactive form, how to get the uh, each fields in the form and show it in the message box. That is the steps we are going to see today. And the steps involved and the form we have to create like this. The first one is entering the name and the contact details, DOB information, location, everything after uh, entering the in the display of the interactive form we, after clicking this register button it will show all the information in the message box that is the task we are going to do today so the steps involved in this is uh, first one we are going to display the form in front of the page that is in the, the interactive form there is a command called uh, display and then the trigger loop starts in the trigger loop while the register button is clicked all the information uh, that command called get command all the information what are the information entered by the user it will get the information and then uh, those information we are going to show it in a message box and the second uh, one is so if the user is clicking register button it will get all the information from this field if the user is clicking reset button any inform any information entered in this uh, field it will clear every information will be cleared in this reset button and while the user is clicking the cancel button if the form itself it will close the uh, loop will break that is the task we are doing here like last one if the cancel button is clicked uh, that loop will break that's all okay we can create the registration form so here if you go here you, there will be a bot and another one is form and another is process so you will while you click the form you will uh, navigate to this registered form this is the form where we are uh, going to set the fields of uh, this one this is the fields we are going to set inside the form so for that uh, first first uh, field is red, please enter your name that is of the text box so uh, in the in this registration form there is a form elements are present in the left side this is a text box you can drag and drop it here so this is a text box where you can rename as please please enter the name you can uh, uh, name the element label as this one and then when you come down click this make a uh, field required if needed then if the data are to be masked you can put this also and my next field is contact number so same text box you can rename this as contact contact number and this also make this field required click this and the next one will be uh, enter your DOB under the field of the date so for that there is an element in the form called date you can drag and drop this date here enter your DOB enter your DOB and that is of the manual input of let's we keep MMDDYW format and this also click this make this field required and the next one will be of location text box rename this as location enter your location And this also you can mark this as make the field required okay then and last is register that is of a button button type where is the element called the button you can drag and drop this here you can rename this as register uh, valid uh, before clicking the register you have to click validate all the form fields when the, this button is clicked so you can click this and the button type is primary let it be and next one is reset and then cancel uh, the same button 
this one will be of reset and this one is of type secondary no need to click anything and then the cancel button cancel and uh, this also of secondary type okay then my uh, uh, this form is ready you can save it if you want you can preview this form this will be how it will look while you uh, get the display the form and click is apply okay my the form my form is ready and you can click uh, quickly create your task bot according to this you can go here then this is my task board why what i have created you can click here then you can create your own task board where this form can be bring inside the task board this is a task board i'm created so the registration form task board mm, so here we can um, put all the steps what we have seen in this first one is interactive form display it will first display the form in front of the page so and for that we are having the in under the interactive form package we are having the command called display command here enter your form name what is the form name we have created here as registration form you can uh, click that here registration form so there is nothing here we have to create some variable and then we can bring that a uh, form inside this this is of the type variable form you can put this as registration form and here you can uh, bring that form what we have created earlier under the form registration form choose this will be under the form it will uh, get that in form from this what we have created and then create select okay then always display the form in front of the window okay. this is the first step we have created then trigger under the trigger loop action handle action while the register button is clicked then only the information what we have entered it will get so for the trigger loop there is a command called trigger loop under the trigger loop you can drag and drop this here trigger loop handle here uh, trigger where the trigger will be of the form trigger the form name will be of registration form what we have created here and the form element where this uh, loop going to start is after entering all the information all the information in this field when well, the user will click this register button then only the board um, the task board is going to get all the information from this field so uh, the first we have to put the register button in the form tri trigger handle so here the registration form uh, while the user is clicking register button only the, hand, the form the form will get all the information from that okay then next step is the, so handle register button then interactive form get the information it will uh, get under the interactive form get action Put that inside the loop the form name will be of registration form and this one what what is the first one it has to get is the enter name please enter your name this is the element name this you have to get that uh, field for that and please enter your name this is the text box we are going to get in this step so that are uh, going to be stored it in a variable called we can create a variable called name and select okay save and the next step will be interactive form enter name then contact number i'll copy this paste so here registration form please enter here next one will be of contact number then it's going to be stored under the variable called contact number select copy paste and then um name contact number dob okay. uh, here form element will be of enter your dob that going to be stored it under the uh, under the type datum format dob 
so this is of the type uh, this is dob is of the type daytime format we are going to convert this daytime format to a string format so for that under the daytime package under the daytime package we are having action called to string option you can drag and drop this here so here you can click uh, get this what we have created in this step we have we uh, get the information from the entire dob and then that going to be stored it in a variable called dob that dob we are going to call it in the source date parent time variable and the custom format we can give as mm dd y by format so that going to be stored under the variable called let it be vdob under the variable string this is of the string this only we can uh, bring it anywhere in the message box or in the excel anything so create and select so we converted this data format to a string format and then my next step will be data to a string interactive form get the location next one is location so get copy this paste it so here a uh, location that going to be stored it under the variable call we can create the variable as location create and select and my next step of after this location will be i will put some message box to get after getting all the information it will show that in the message box for that i'll put one message box first one will be of name under the variable string of type of name and then contact number under the string call contact number and then name contact number dob so this is of data format we converted to a vdob so vdob and then next one will be of location location save it so my next step after this break um after getting the location i put it one message box and then the loop going to break here for the register button so for that under the trigger loop break save it next step will be of trigger loop handle handle uh, for reset for reset button we are going to do this drag and drop the handle so handle will be a form trigger for um, reset button of button 1 so this is the reset button okay now if the user is clicking this reset button it going to clear every information from this field so for that there is an option called reset under the interactive form we are having the reset command we drag and drop this here so uh, you can click the registration form okay then my next step for that for cancelling button so we created for the reset then we can create for cancel button so same handle trigger okay uh, for form interactive registration form cancel button if that button is clicked uh, for that the loop going to break loop break action from the bot and see so this is my display of the form which I have created in this form so I will enter the name If you click this register button, you will be having the message but what we have entered here. So, 
so if i click this uh, run button and then uh, if we click the reset button we can see what is happening now this is the form if i click like name contact number if i click the reset button it will reset every information in the field so if i click the cancel button the uh, trigger loop will break and it will uh, close the form which is displayed in the after clicking this uh, cancel button it will uh, break the loop and the form which is displayed in the front of the page it will uh, disappear that is of the form uh, cancel button where the trigger loop will break so this is the step for uh, getting the information from the field of the form and then showing that in the message box in the next video, uh, we can see how to get, the, uh, after getting the info, information from the fields of the name uh, contact number and then how to enter all the name contact number DOB, everything in the Excel one. That is the step we can see in the next video. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel.